Hey, Crow. Hey, what's going on? You know, I've been thinking about dinosaurs lately, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of cool ones, especially like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, uh, I mean, dinosaurs are pretty cool. Which one's your favorite, Crow? Hmm. Out of all the dinosaurs out there, I would have to say Yoshiyuki Tomino. Hey guys, what's going on? Crow here, the owner of Crow Pro Shop, the Plamo shop within my own home. And I have a new shipment straight from Hobby Link Japan. If you can, you can go ahead and check out their website down in the comment section below. But they sent me the Omega Rex, which is a to uh, Takara Tomi uh, product from Zoids. And this is Zoids Wild Zero, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know much about Zoids uh, as a whole, and I really don't know much about the Zoids Wild series or the Wild Zero series. It looks really cool. Watched a couple of episodes, and I thought it was awesome, but I did not get to this particular Zoid within the series. However, it looks pretty damn good. Uh, really huge. Uh, price tag's a little bit up there. I think around like 70 bucks. Yeah, um, what are your first thoughts and impressions on this? Honestly, Crow, I, I think it's pretty cool. There's not too many things I uh, I really care for when it comes to Mecha or Plamo, but God damn it, I appreciate a Tyrannosaurus Rex when I see one. Yeah, I mean, definitely, it's really cool. It has like a mouth cannon. Uh, it's really unique. So without further ado, let's just get into the unboxing and straight into the review. Man, so once it's fully built and completed, it is big, it is glossy black, it is a beast. You know, Crow, you're leaving yourself open for a lot of jokes. Yeah, I should probably uh, stop where I'm at, huh? Yeah, yeah, that would, uh, that would actually be best. Okay, anyways, it is a really fearsome looking Zoid. I really love the aesthetics, it looks perfect, but I'm not gonna keep y'all away from the review. We're just gonna jump right into it. So here we are with the details. Honestly, this thing is going to be riddled with a lot of different details that are gonna have to be brought out with paint. Unfortunate, but you know, it kinda is what it is. This is something that just seems like it's for kids and it's just gonna be straight out of the box. So I couldn't imagine them pre-painting all the details, but at least they give you all like the different, you know, raised parts and just little, Things here and there, the pipings, uh, pistons, so that way you can paint it all in yourself. Now to start with the head, the head is gonna have pre-painted red for the eyes right there. Uh, you just see all like these little raised parts and all these like little indentions. It's gonna be something that you can easily mask off, paint inside there, maybe an off black or you know whatever color of your choosing. But uh, yeah, it's just a lot of different things that you can definitely paint if you wanna get you know, some bronze or copper colors in there. Uh, overall, looks really good though. Now for the body, I do have this in the way, so we're gonna have to move that. Uh, but you are gonna have some little pipes right here. Uh, you're gonna have some pipes down in the leg section on the back over here. So lots of things that you could just paint. So uh, you got the little pistons right here as well. Uh, honestly, I'm just really stoked because I think in the future, I do wanna just you know go ahead and do a full paint job because I can make this kit look super good. I already feel it, I know it. I'm just kind of like busy with a lot of other kits right now, but regardless, it's looking really good. I think this is cannons right here, not too sure, but um, if it is, then you know you could definitely do something with that. Probably gonna have to drill a hole right inside there because that is gonna be a solid piece, but regardless, it is looking very beautiful. And the tail is gonna have all these little bone-like structure. Uh, it's going to be really cool, and there's a little bit of movement right inside here, so whenever it's motorized, this is gonna be wagging its tail back and forth. Looks pretty good, but um, there's nothing really on this kit that is kinda like, you can really articulate it yourself. It all comes into form whenever you turn on the motor. And you are gonna have some missiles right here that just plug in. You can honestly plug them in wherever you want, but uh, the you know instructions say boom right here. 
And you also get a clear pilot and he's just kind of resting. Not really too sure what's going on here. I'm, I'm guessing that he goes into a sleep state and I don't know, maybe his mind takes over. Not too sure. Now before we get into the motorized part, this actually came into the box. I think it's a part of the campaign because it came in the black bag, but it's two little you know, saw blades. Do whatever you want with these. And you do get a sticker sheet, which is not really too bad. You don't really see the outline of the sticker too much on the actual kit. But, you know, if you want to use them, cool. If not, then maybe store it aside and use, you know, use it for a different kit later on. Now to turn this on, we're just going to go ahead and push that forward. This alpha predator of yours, Doctor, do you really think he has a chance? The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control, and not the other way around. Let them fight. So for my final thoughts, Honestly, this thing is fantastic. I don't have any problems with it. There's no loose parts, broken pieces. It's not difficult to assemble. I think I assembled in like maybe 20 minutes. It took me like no time whatsoever. Instructions are super simple. This is definitely for a younger audience, but um, it looks good. I honestly love the aesthetics. I think it just it looks great. And it is a good companion to my rising Liger. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I can really say. It's, it's a Rex. It's something that's really cool and it's gonna sit on your shelf and it's gonna look menacing and intimidating. The only thing I would say is not so cool is going to be the price point, roughly around 70 bucks. So yeah, unless you're a big Zoys enthusiast and you're like a huge fan of the Rex line, then go ahead and pick it up at that price. However, for the more casual audience, maybe try and wait for it to go to like a $50 price range before you decide to pick it up. There's a lot of other kits that are fairly cheap. Uh, the Ryzen Liger, for instance, is roughly $30 or $25, depending on where you go buy it at. So maybe get that one first, paint it up, do some cool stuff to it, or pick up one of the other wild Ligers and uh, just enjoy yourself with those kits. This one is gonna be a little bit more for the hardcore enthusiasts and like the, the big fans. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really have much else to really say about this kit. Uh, overall aesthetics is fine. Motorized uh, gimmick is really cool. The LED is awesome. Just once again, that price point, eh, not so cool. So that's it for the review. Honestly, it's a really good Plamo. I don't really have any issues with it. The overall construction was super simple, uh, straight to the point. Obviously there's a few hollow pieces here and there. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, it's, it's simplistic. So maybe that doesn't warrant the price tag, but I'm not too sure where that price tag is for, you know, Takura Tomi stuff because, you know, you got, um, you know, built-in LED, you have a bunch of, like, you know, motorized mechanics in it. It's all pre-cut off of runners, so you don't have to cut it off the runners yourself. Uh, you got some pre-colored stuff on there, so I'm estimating that a lot of that, you know, effort put into this already before you even, you know, take it out of the box is something that contributes to the price tag as, as the why it's so high. So it's kind of like pros and cons. But honestly, I like it. I think uh, if it feels maybe about 10, 20 bucks cheaper, it'd be the perfect price point for it. Um, for all you veteran builders though, you're probably just gonna be bored and you're gonna have to paint this in order to get, you know, your little kick out of it. Or you can just get like one of the H&M ones. I mean, those are significantly better in every single area. You can, I mean, the HMM line is really good, but I think this has a purpose and a place. Uh, maybe it's for, you know, people who just like to see uh, their Zoys walk and move. It's also something that's been in the Zoe line since, I mean, what, the 80s? So these things have always walked, they always did something, you know, lit up. Uh, but I, I like it. Honestly, this is something I'm gonna put on my shelf. I'm gonna have a great time, you know, just kind of like looking at it. And then when my kid's a little bit over, older, I'm gonna take it off the shelf and we're gonna play with it. He can have his Zoe and we can battle and all that. I think it's, I think it's cool. And honestly, when it does, it's like beam cannon, like mouth beam cannon animation. It's pretty badass. So uh, overall, hey, positive things. And um, you know, I'm really happy with it.
Oh, I bet you are. The fact that you like the big, black, shiny beast. I hate you so much. Yeah.